What's up, guys? I'm back again with another one. Guys, this time, I'm going to be wet sanding this hood. Now, I'm going to show you guys, I'm wet sanding with Totally Awesome, the original screen. Full blast. I don't believe in diluting that stuff too much. So, I just want to show you guys what I'm using. I wet sand with it, guys, because it helped make sure that all the oil and grease is off the hood. I think everybody should do this. Um doesn't cost a lot only a dollar you know and um wet sanding with that makes make it perfect for making sure there's nothing no oil and grease grime or nothing left on that hood because you want to make sure everything is off when you paint it now i'm out here in my shop here as you can see uh got my stuff lined up over there i got to do a little cleaning up and i uh, got my hood on my detailing table here and i uh, just got it up here ready to go for wet sand and uh, i'm gonna spray it right here um gear do a little repair for my shop here in the next couple weeks so i can work in here with his woman and stuff and get the job done all right guys i'm gonna show you my wet sanding process here we go i simply spray it up there and this stuff we're gonna take off all the grease grind whatever that's on this hood It'll take it all in the old waxes, sealants, and uh, that's why I recommend this wet sanding with it like this. Here. Anything that's here, you know, it'll help pull it off. I'm using 400 grit sandpaper, waterproof. This is the waterproof paper right here. Waterproof, 400 grit. Okay. And see guys, that wet sanding help makes it slick, slick, slick. And I use the totally awesome method just to make sure, make sure ain't no grease and grind left up here, see. That's what you want. Let's hit it for more lubrication. So totally, then I'll come behind this with alcohol. This should pretty much take care of everything. Okay, the wet sanding guys help makes it slick. Support it, the wet sand. Okay. Without this step, it doesn't, doesn't get so slick, you know. You want to make sure you wet sand it. But that's where you get your slickness from. And make sure you got your hood very supportive. Like I said, I got mines on that detailing table, as you can see right there. And um, let's make sure it is stable like this. That table is wide enough to hold it pretty good right there. And, uh, there you go. I'm always doing something, guys. Got to keep it moving, man. It's going to detail the ride today for a guy, a customer of mine. Until I had to put him off until day or two said so he was cool with that because I want to paint my hood and stuff here so you always can't detail cars all the time guys sometimes I run a schedule myself by kill working in on this hood and stuff today okay and remember when I say you wet sand with totally awesome all thing that does is help take off some of the grease and grime, guys. You know, some of the grease and grime that's um, on the paint. Unpleasant stuff, you know. Okay. All right. Pretty much sleep. Okay, 
Okay, showing you guys the ropes. I probably never heard nobody. <laughs> Wet sand was totally awesome, but the method works, guys. It works. The reason why you want to make sure you take all that oil and grease off the paint, see? Old wax, old ceilings. Then it's stuck on grime, you know? You want to make sure it come off. Okay? And like I said, this is what's going to make it slick, too. It's when you wet sand it. Okay? And uh, that's about enough wet sand. What I'm going to do now, just going to take it and kind of wipe it away. So... I come behind this after the video, guys. My tack cloth and stuff. Tack, your tack rag pick up in it. It says lint and stuff like that, you know. That might be down on the paint. You don't want that when you get the paint on, you know. So you can pick up in there, it says lint. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Right, so now what I got to wash it too. So I had to wash it even after you wet sand. Take get a bucket of water and kind of wash it. Let's see. Bring my rag out here. Got some water out of here. I'm gonna need a separate bucket for the washing. Okay. That's my rag I was using. Okay. Make sure you use microfiber cloths too, guys, when you're doing this, because you don't want nothing shedding a whole lot of lint and stuff. Make sure of that. Okay. But that, it's no wet sand, in my opinion. Okay. Okay, now let's see what you feel on that. Doesn't feel too smooth up in here. I still gotta do a little bit more wet sand and sand or something up in here. Okay, that's about all up now, though. All right, let's get this one. Awesome. And like I said, using Total Awesome is going to be the way to go. Like I said, what this does help take off the um, all the trash that's on the paint. That's all it's going to do. All the grease and tar or whatever might be here. You want to get everything off this paint. See, everything. Trash free. Where you want it. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to have to stop the recorder. I have to ring my rag out. I just want to show you guys how wet sand was totally awesome. Um, for this to help um, take away all the tar, road grime, and all that crap. Um, that's the way I do it. Man. All right. Um, Y'all stay tuned for the finished results, man. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time in it. I'm just going to go ahead and paint it. And you can see here it's pulled off some, something here. See here? And all this stuff got to be off before you paint it. See, you can't, you don't want that. So you're going to have to wash and wipe it, wash and wipe it, strip it. You got to do it good. Uh, the most important part is the prep work. You know, so when you paint one, prep it right, it'll turn out right. Simple as that.
So I'm out here chilling in the shop, man. So I'm gonna go ahead on and try to see what can I do to prep this. And um, you guys hang tight for the next video. If y'all new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And until next time, man, gotta get up on this hood. You guys take care, man. I'm out of here. Peace.